Hey guys, this is here bringing you another video. Welcome back to another game on of Filter Diamond, and welcome back to Smurf Q. So yes, Smurf Q exists. Everybody in this game probably is a Smurf. It looks to be everybody's a Smurf in this game, even though I'm a weird win rate. Smurf, 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 Smurf. Low amount of games. Smurf, Smurf, Smurf. Probably a Smurf because little games, no games yet, doing placements, and Smurf. Literally everybody's a smurf in this game, so even though it's a gold one game, this is probably a low diamond quality game. I'm um, against a graves top, which is a little bit weird. I have no idea how strong it is. Why does a Nivea have cult? You're not farming as a Nivea, unless you're trolling. No idea. Uh, Pengu with a gifty subby. And Jay Dolson, 13 months tier one, says good luck with Jace. Yeah, we had the blind pick. Kinda? Well, again, we didn't know we were against a Graves Top. Ah. That's annoying. Yeah, I'm guessing, again, we had a Rage Quitter last game, and this game we, uh, we have a troll. That's kind of annoying. Season 10, ladies and gentlemen. Again, why is that troll, Huz? She has to have 100 minions to make it work. She's playing support Anivia. You know? What's that about? But yeah, I, I have heard apparently Smurf Q is literally going to be horrible. Uh, I, I know Smurfs for the for the most part, and I'm sure many players are like happy that Smurf Q exists. They're like, oh, these Smurfs now are not in our games. I get that, but a lot of these Smurfs are like, yeah, the, the bad of Smurfs is a lot of them are toxic individuals that just got banned out from their main account. So Smurf Q is legit going to be horrible. Put it this way, in Season 11, if we do a Smurf series, I ain't having chat on in Smurf Q. Hell no. I'll have I'll have chat on, on my main account. Uh Lucas Jr., how's it going, dude? Seven months of prime. I have no idea how the hell I'm gonna beat this Graves. Cause I think his early game arguably is stronger than mine, and I think he scales better than me as well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't know why he's playing Graves top, it's a bit weird. We have a Lilia. So that could go really well for us. Uh, generally, I've only seen Lilias do really good or really bad. Yeah, in preseason, I will be leveling the EU Northeast account more, by the way. Uh, because I do want to do an EU Northeast series. For the main reason, I've never played on EU Northeast. So uh, everybody says that, you know, there's a massive server difference. And if you're low diamond on EU West, you can get Grandmaster on EU Northeast. And evidence-wise, that might be true. Um, it does look to be, but I kind of want to experiencing it. I want to experience it for myself. Because uh, that does sound kind of crazy. Hundred biddies from Doctor Stupid. God damn it. I don't like when people have like names like that. You're not stupid. You're smart. Thirty biddies from Chimando. You shoot it. This is just gonna be farmy farm, I guess. I'm I'm gonna go the tier build for scaling. Oh good. Uh, Professor Tree Frog says, "Just wanted to say you've been a big fan of your content since middle school. You're graduating from high school this year. It's been a fun ride, and you love my attitude. Hey, thanks, dude. 
again, I, we have, like, what I would say, we don't have the biggest audience as a league uh, content creator. Um, but I'd say I I wouldn't trade my audience for the world either, though. Like, would I like it to be a little bit bigger? Sure. But you guys are great. Uh, we're one of, and I, I'm very confident in saying, we're one of the least toxic, if, well, we're not toxic at all as a community. Uh, which is quite rare for League of Legends. Um... And yeah, like, I, when I click start streaming, I'm happy about it. You know, that I, I do know there are some streamers out there in their communities that they're not looking forward to their Twitch chat. Um, and obviously some people say, you know, the Twitch chats reflect the streamers, which I do partially think is true. But yeah. Yeah. Zoe was a mistake. Okay, that name's funny. Uh, one month, uh, sorry, six months of Prime says, "Woo, you're back on Jace." Uh, mm -hmm. uh, I am, but I don't know how well it's going to go this game because I think we're going to have a scaling issue. Can we not kill him? <laughs> Dead. Pengu to gifty subby them a pengu. Yeah, I was confident I wasn't going to get one shot there. Oh, look, she sold her cull, by the way. Why did she have a cull in the first place? You know, it's very weird. What's our win condition? Snowballing, probably. Well, I don't know. I'd say the, the cane's been a bit silly. He's doing Dark Harvest Cane when he could go red and basically be unkillable against our comp, I would say. Oh, was that two two, two gifty subbies? Oh, sorry, Pengu. Thanks for two gifty subbies. If we get dragons, that'll be good. <laughs> Oh, okay. Did my best there. I couldn't do much. Can you guys do dragon when he's top lane? Blah. Um... Two. Don't even know if they needed to flash early there. Ooh, Lily misplayed that. What am I watching? Okay. Okay. Whoa. Kane's probably going to take the blue buff again. Generally, junglers that do invade and steal buffs have a pattern that they keep doing it. Yep. See, it's just predictable. <sighs> a lot of junglers don't work it out that it's predictable, but it's very as much predictable. 
Ilya should have been ready to get that. It's 31 degrees Celsius there. What the hell? Where are you? Oh, you must be Southern Hemisphere, I guess. Because in, in our winter in Northern Hemisphere, it's, it's summer in the Southern. How weird's that? Wait, how do Flat Earthers explain that? What weird reasoning have they given for seasonal changes from the hem hemispheres? Have they given a reason? Snow machines. Right. <laughs> they are just crazy, right? <laughs> Snow machines! We need to play that really well. Uh oh. Wow. Anivia didn't walk over, I guess. They departed. I went for a, a man immune for first, by the way. Just because I need to get to mid, mid to late game scaling as quick as possible. Because I, I don't see myself really beating a Graves even in the early game. Even if I matched him with Lethality as well, I just don't think I kill him. Um, Especially if he, if he has his E stacked. He has a million armor for, for you know, not building any armor. Is it going okay? Might be going okay. It's not going okay. He is there. What do you do? Oh, yeah, I think he went to go get a plant. I honestly think uh, Lilia could come top. We could kill this guy. Oh, God. Hmm. Oh my god, really? That timing. Oh, I wish Lilia came top lane. He is definitely killable. Oh. Damn. Serious question to all the guys. How many of you already failed NNN? What's NNN? Oh, I know what it is. Uh. <laughs> uh. I'm good so far. Uh. And we're back in lockdown now, too, so I can't even see Queen Pleather. <laughs> Can Zed kill him? I don't know. Are we? I don't know who's winning this game. I think the enemy team is slightly winning this game, but it's hard to tell. 
Oh look, the Zed has experienced the, the, the top lane fun. When one jungler goes top and the other one doesn't. It's really fun. Many fun, many wow. The Zed is not happy with Lilia. Same in Belgium. Yeah, we're in lockdown here in England. Again, England. Can't say Britain or UK because every country is doing it different. Uh, we're in lockdown from Thursday this week till early December minimum. Um, and it could be extended depending where you are in the country. It does, again, it, it does sound kind of bad, but there does seem to be a little bit of a north-south divide for some reason. I don't know why or how. Um, why it's different. But, yeah, if you look at all the graphs and that's very different. The, like, you, there's literally like a line around Birmingham. You can start to see where it kind of gets worse. It's like, why? I don't understand. How'd you get food? Are you allowed out? Like, this lockdown isn't as bad as the last one. Um, supermarkets obviously have to be open. Pharmacies have to be open. Uh, just non-essential things have to be closed. So, like... Every other stuff. Um, to be honest, I kind of thought of this the other day. Oh, well, ooh, let's re who's who's benefiting the most from these type of lockdowns? Amazon. Like, just straight up. Like, dude, Christmas is in like a month. We're going to be in lockdown for a while. You need to do your Christmas shopping. Guess where you're buying your stuff? Amazon. Like, just straight up. Because, like, I need to do my Christmas shopping. Uh oh. Ah, enemy team's way too far ahead. Do 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 I think I did a good thing. Well, if she watches the VOD, she won't watch the VOD. And also then she she knows that I got a good gift. That's it. I'll tell you guys I'll tell you guys what it is after Christmas. It's not a posh gift. <laughs> it's like, whoa, you got a tier two sub for your own stream. Yeah. Well, how do you know? How do you know that was that was it? No. <laughs> it's not an expensive gift at all. It's just a thoughtful gift. Which I think they're the better gifts. <gasps> Hands made this just said your wife and I pick up an Australian shepherd puppy on Saturday. Dude, they're amazing. I think I'll be dog hunting. Okay, that sounds bad. I'm not dog hunting. I'll be hunting for a dog next year. I think I will get a dog next year. Again, I'll probably go to a shelter, but um, there are a couple breeds that I do really want, but yeah. Do I have any plans the weekend or will I be playing Among Us? We, I might play Among Us tonight. I'm either going to play Watch Dogs Legion or play Among Us. It just depends how tired I am. Um... His Graves has had like the most free game, I swear. He's one and three, but his, his just top lane is just... Oh, Poggy. Oh, good wall. Nice. Uh, but yeah, I might try to play 
Do I want a big dog? I want a substantial dog. That is the word to use. Substantial doggo. I wouldn't get a husky. I don't think huskies are good to get in the west. Huskies need, like, the conditions for a husky. And they're designed to, like, run miles and miles and miles. I want a dog to go on runs with, but I ain't going to run marathons with a husky. Yeah, I want, a, I want a dog that I can go on runs with. I'd, I'd love to get a Rhodesian Ridgeback. Um, a lot of people are going to know it. A what now? Uh, it's a African dog. It's from, it, well, the place used to be called Rhodesia, which I think now is Zimbabwe. Um, and basically, they're the dogs that if you was a farmer in South Africa or kind of the southern part of Africa, it's the dogs you actually had on your farm to stop lions coming to kill everything. Um, my dad grew up in South Africa, if you guys didn't know that, and obviously those dogs were around. And, uh, yeah, I like them a lot. A lot of people call them the lion hunting dog. They weren't really used as lion hunting dogs. They were more just used as, like, protecting cattle from lions. That if there was three Rhodesian Ridgebacks and a lone lioness, she ain't coming over to a Rhodesian Ridgeback. So it just isn't going to happen. Um, because they know, like, sure, the lion would probably take the three dogs, but the lion is going to get injured. Lions are massive wimps. Any sign of injury, they are not wanting to do that. So, yeah. My dad, though, grew up in South Africa with a bull mastiff crossed with a Rhodesian Ridgeback. So if you guys want to imagine that dog... <laughs> It was a beast. Uh, my dad says if you just picture Scooby-Doo, literally just Scooby-Doo in your head. My dad's dog growing up was Scooby-Doo with just a kind of slightly wider mouth. Um, and they had to give it away when it was two or three years old uh, because it was just be it became too big. My, my, my grandparents tell stories of that dog that my grandma cook a whole roast chicken and the dog's name was Sweet. And... They turned around after hearing a noise and Sweet the dog had the whole roast chicken in its mouth with just one wing hanging out, out of its mouth. And they were like, oh, okay, that, that's something. Um, so that, that's how big this dog was. And it was only two or three years old. It was getting bigger. They had to use a men's belt as its collar because they couldn't find a dog collar big enough. Um, so, yeah. Bah. I think we should have turned that, to be honest. Yeah, we should have turned the fight. I think we were going to lose that anyway. Um, yeah. It, w it was a too powerful dog. And there was like there was instances of like um, a neighbor's dog attacked my uncle, who was younger than my dad. And, uh, whoa, linear damage. Whoa, nice damage. And um, the, the big dog, Sweep, Basic, and it was a, I think it was a German Shepherd, which is quite known as a big dog, um, you know, and a quite a strong dog. Sweep, the Bull Mastiff Rhodesian, pinned down this the German Shepherd with one paw and just held it there. And, you know, this German Shepherd wasn't wanting to be held. Um, that just, that just shows how uh, powerful this dog was. So they had to get rid of it. I think they gave it, it was, I... Again, I'll have to confirm, but it was either to a farm or the police force. I can't remember which one. It was one of them. They might have gone to the police force and they said, no, this is too big of a dog for police. So they may have given it to a farm. No, it didn't attack it. It didn't attack. It wasn't an aggressive dog. But it was overprotective of my dad. Um, no one could walk next to my dad. Uh, not even his own family because the dog was too protective. The dog would always walk between you and my dad. 
So it was just becoming a little bit too problematic for them to keep. So yeah. Cool though. But yeah, I will get Doggo. And I'm sure... I'm sure uh, Doggo will make appearances in content. Oh, I missed. I can't f fully commit to a fight because my health is so low. Maybe I should have gone back, to be fair, and then teleported back in. That might have been the better play. Uh oh. How do you get there? What? Oh, he got the... Okay, that's not too bad. I honestly don't know how Kane got behind me. Surprise, Pete. No, Kane. <clears throat> Let's go GA. The enemy team is mainly full AD. The Silas isn't really doing that much. Get Death Dance. Ooh, that's a shout. All right, yeah, let's not get GA. Let's get Death Dance. Yeah, 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 yeah. Has doggo remote oh, confirmed? Oh, when I have a dog, for sure. For sure. Oh, you know, I was really looking forward to 2020. For many reasons. And although I'm in a very happy place, it has obviously not been the most eventful 2020, even though one of the best events has actually happened to me as well. Uh, but I'm just, I'm looking forward to 2021. <laughs> Hopefully. Fair warning, I will be having breaks from stream and content potentially in 2021. Because I is going on holiday. I think we all deserve a holiday. I might go on a couple. Because over the last four years, five years after university and being a content creator, I've not really holidayed. You know? It's just not something that I've done a lot of. So I kind of think I want to go on a holiday. I think they kill him, right? You land a G, Mr. Stun. They have to land a stun to kill him. If we if we get like a stun on him, he's dead. Pretty much. Holiday, what is that? Mm. I want to go to Italy. One of those holidays will be Italy. I love Italy. It's very near and dear to my heart. If you're Italian. Bella. Um, and... I don't know. Part of me is like, do I do the dream holiday and go to Japan? You know, that's like the dream holiday. But I don't know if the world is going to return, en return enough to normal for that to happen. Hopefully, but I don't know. This Kane, by the way, is basically stopping us winning this game by himself. If that hasn't been obvious for a while. He's just very fed. Yes, dude. Okay, that's not actually that bad. You got it. No, 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 oh. no. Vixie won't be going on holiday at all for a while, I think she said to me. Vixie obviously has to be a bit more careful with everything, Rona-wise. And she also said, like, she's not going to go to Japan for, like, four years, because she wants to plan everything. And I'm like, eh? Four years? Let's go, Lilia! Boom! Uh... Camille, uh, 
I think that's it. Camille, eight. Three months tier one. Here from YouTube. Keep up the work. Appreciate it, man. And Lily is a strong champion, dudes. She's a strong champion. Do not sit on Lilia. Literally and physically. I don't know if we can do this with him up, though. Zed has to probably deal with Kane, but I don't know if he can. Oh, sweet Jesus. Go, Zeddy boy. Good luck. Yes, lads. Yes, lads. Yes. Wait, I hit him. Oh, my EQ actually hit him. I didn't think it did. Woo. But yeah. Well, what I will also say with the Italian holiday, I normally go to Rome. If you're, again, if you're Italian, if you're Roman, I actually know Rome very well. But I actually want to go somewhere different to Italy. I've never been. Uh, what's it? Is it the Amalfi Coast on the right hand side? Honestly, I just, I, I'm not normally a beachy, relaxy holiday person, but I want one. I want, I just want that. Just give me one of those. That's what I want. Woo-wee! He's hacking. Yeah, my friend went to the Amalfi Coast about a year and a half ago, and my great-grandmother... Back in like the 60s, used to go to the Amalfi Coast when nobody went abroad on holiday. My great great grandmother went abroad, and they weren't well off. They just went. They just lived very much within their means, and it, they, it just allowed them to travel um, when it normally was quite a rare thing to do. Damn it, we couldn't save him in time. Alright, I think we win the game because the only threat of the enemy team really actually has been this cane. Again, apologies by the way everybody if this has been a very chilled um, conversation. We haven't really been talking about this game, but I've honestly thoroughly enjoyed this game. We actually turned a game, one person we had to deal with, the Zed's played very well, we've had a nice conversation. And it looks like we're winning the game. So yeah, it's been great. I'm honestly, I kind of forgot there was a Graves in the game. Oof. Bam. I didn't even get... Maybe if I Death Star... Oh, end the game, end the game, end the game. Oh, it's not going to end. No. Game's not over. Ah. Uh, all right. Can I get Death Stars now, though? Ooh, I can. Oh, God, I'm singing Christmas songs. Is this Huzzy back door? Probably not. I got the broken item. It's online. Yomato Cannon online. Yeah, there's going to be a cane running for you, bud. What? Don't be alone. Kane right now is desperately going to be looking for a pick. Because he has to. Why are we not fighting this? Ooh, where's the cane? Where the hell is he? Don't actually know. Hello? The AFK? Like, what's happened? Are we going mid? We could just push mid, or are we just going to go bot? Oh, 
I don't like this. Again, if to specifically, by the way, to talk about Jace, because we haven't really done that this game. Um, I don't feel weak. KDA not doing too great. But we also were kind of against a weird lane. So it's hard to judge if I actually feel strong or weak as this champion at the moment. I just I was spamming E, by the way. I was just spamming E just to batter him away as soon as he came out. That's kind of funny. Ali up! Boom! In the face! Ugh. I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see, I can't see. And there we go! Really, honestly, really good game. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Um, again, it was a very relaxed commentary. But it honestly felt quite... I got, that was quite fun. <laughs> like... It was, it was just nice to have a, a casual conversation while playing League. And yeah, this is ranked. This was Smurf Q. I'm reminding everybody. Everybody in this game was a Smurf. Literally every single player. Um, but there we go. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. But that, that definitely didn't feel like a gold game. Oh, we got promoted on this account. Um, yeah, Smurf Q. That felt like a, I'd probably say a low diamond game. Um, ish. So, yeah. Anyway, we went 7, 9, 12, 2, 2, 5, got a promotion and damage-wise dealing. Yeah, mediocre damage. Zed having a fantastic game. Obviously, Kane doing well. And obviously, he was good this game, but I also do kind of stand by the point. He became killable, right? Like, at the end, he didn't even kill the Jin. Imagine if he was red and that fed. And maybe he wouldn't have got that fed if he was red Kane, but it would have been so much more harder to deal with a really strong red Kane. Um... So I don't know. But uh, the, the enemy team just didn't really have a great backup. Like the graves kind of fell off and I kind of kept forgetting he was in the game. Uh, obviously our bot lane having a pretty bad one. But overall, not too bad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. That was a uh, Jace top. Didn't feel too weak, but also didn't feel incredibly strong. Damage wasn't bad when it actually could do damage. But uh, yeah. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed, throw a like on it. Throw a comment, throw a subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace.